motivation in the different teammates. K2, 500 meters. We saw some racing a couple of hours ago. Let's see what sort of form they're in at the moment. Again, it's non-Olympic, but there's certainly quite a few Olympians in this actual race today. Argentina, Spain, France, Russia, Lithuania, Slovakia, Serbia, Hungary, and Germany. And most of these athletes will be fairly familiar. We can look down the list and see who's the best well-known. Probably Slovakia, Flajcek and Tai. Certainly the most experienced with uh, Toth and Kolafi, also from Hungary, up there as well. Lithuanians have been as a team for many, many years. It's a difficult event, this, because it's partially flat out and partially just hanging on in there. Argentinians fast up. They've been putting quite a lot of athletes in the semi-finals and the finals. It's looking good. Spain, we've just seen them take out the gold medal 10 minutes ago in the K1-200. And it really is. All the athletes are saying it's such a boost. The French is Maxime Beaumont, a little bit disappointed, put in a great, great week, but didn't quite make the final. Russians, they've made pretty much all the finals so far. Lithuania. Big boys, can they keep up the pace over 500 meters? Well, multiple world champions, these boys certainly can. They jump from the K2 to the 1000, to the 500, to the K4, 1500. They can really cover it all. Same for the Serbians. And the vastly experienced Hungarians, Totten Kalafi. And finally, we have the Germans, Storinsky, Fazula. Ideal racing conditions, 500 meters. You see the red flag slightly picking up. With the water temperature quite warm, makes the flow through the water a little bit easier. The coaches are all on bicycles. They're not allowed to be megaphones, so how they keep their voices going is anyone's guess. But at the moment, the first outs are the Serbians. Dobrov and Vekic setting a, a nice early pace. The idea is to really get up to your maximum and then set a cruising with them and hold on. Half the time, but twice the effort is a 1,000 race, so it's going to be really a question of exhaustion all out safely at the moment. Well, we had the best start. It looks like they're holding on there. Moving nicely up the track to the halfway stage. So it's certainly Serbia by about a metre and a half from Russia with Lithuania also in it. Argentina's dropping back a little bit. Great overhead pictures. This is coming from Drone. Signal occasionally cuts out. That's to be expected at this level, but it's looking... Really, really tight there. The Russians, the Lithuanians and Slovakians all want it. Russia at the lane number four. You can see them just slightly edging up, but it looks like Serbia's kicked on again. Coming into the last 100 metres. Serbia have been leading all the way. But the Russians, it looks like the Russians are coming forward with 20 metres to go. Slight deceptive camera angle, but who's going to take it? Looks, oh, it looks like the Russians have. Serbia led most of the way. First indications are giving it to Russia. Do you have a fall over at the bait straight over there? 
Another one of the non-Olympic events, but it says the boys really, really want it. It's often the case, it's difficult to know who's around them once they find out there's a, a cry of joy. Well, they're still giving to Russia, but by point two of a second this time. Well, initial reaction was absolute joy. But it looked like the Russians took it. Let me see if there's going to be another change in confirmation. Both claiming the victory. Well, it's been given to Russia. Zakhametov and Blinkov take it for Russia ahead of Vekic and Tobolov with the Lithuanians coming, taking yet another medal coming into there with the French is just missing out on this stage. So they had a couple of fallers. But if the water's fine, they're, they're being towed over, it's great. You can actually see them at the top of your picture being towed in. This is a local rice growing area in the background. Lovely medieval castle. And they've had many World Cups and European Championships here in the last few years, really building up to this huge occasion. Got the biggest parking area in the whole world, I believe. Goes on for about a kilometre. Yesterday we saw it fall for the first time. Well, the Russians looking absolutely delighted. And they've had a cracking day so far. So we've just seen the K2 men, 500 metres. 1 minute 30.666. What's great about the, the fans is they're all interdispersed and there's pretty much every nation. I believe there's 61 nations competing. And we've heard and seen fans mixing from all nations. And it really is a cross-generational thing. Well, we're, we're down here with the gold medalists, the gold medalists in the K2 men's 500. It's the boys from Russia. Congratulations, boys. What does this mean for you to win this gold medal and to be world champions? Thank you very much. It was a very cool race. We were waiting for something like this. Very happy. Thank you very much. 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 Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our gold, silver and bronze medalists in the K2 men's 500 metres.